Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 5 of my Sign Pack Factory, you know, pack div thing. And, oh, between episodes, I went ahead and started a farm. And decided, you know, it looks nice and fertile back in here with all the, the trees and everything. It's good enough for, you know, you know, good enough for trees to grow, oh, what would that be, like 25 or so meters straight up? I think it's good enough to grow some crops on. And I'm in the process of getting rid of my farm over here now. Got rid of part of it. And I moved over the stuff that I want right now, which is... I'm going to concentrate on probably making some sandwiches for a better food source for right now. It seems like it'd be a good idea. Oh, and I got a Wither Skull Fragment. Wither Skull tweaks. A, they don't drop stone swords anymore, so that helps. And B, if they don't drop a skull, you get a fragment. Nine fragments equal a skull. And I turned on the option to have him spawn the overworld. So, uh, this makes things a little bit easier to, you know, not have to go to the nether in order to, to pull that off. Actually, uh, we should be adding in a recipe for skulls, right? Yeah, I need a skull for this. Which, that's, that's it, huh? Hmm. I'll figure something out, but yeah. And I went caving again. Got a lot more coal. Been making charcoal up over here. Because I had, like, well, chopped down, you know, quite a few jungle trees. So I, I had quite a bit of lumber just laying around. Okay, I'll use it for something. And then I went mining. And I actually found three large ore deposits. I guess you could call them super veins. I found copper, iron, and gold. And all within, like, 40 blocks of each other. Like, oh. Even, but I want to get into this. Now, I did make a few more quests up too, which we'll go over in a second. I probably should actually do a quest for this guy. This uh, helpful items, you know, chapter. Go ahead and get one of those, and then as reward, we'll go with. A cactus, actually. How about half stack cactus? The reason why is the upgrades require cactus green. Uh, here we go. Playing scanner modules, yeah. Three cactus green apiece. Do I have nine cactus I can cook up? I have 18. Cool. We'll just do that, and I'll just put that back in there. And I have a piece of cobblestone. I lit up the cave finally under my house, so no more zombie noises in the middle of the night. Or in the middle of the day, or, yeah. They're, yeah. They're done. And, so, go ahead and actually make this. Two iron bars. Do I have? Uh, I have one left. Okay. I'm doing my windows up here. So, let's get eight iron. Uh, I'm going to need some gold, it looks like. And I would give myself crap about not being prepared, but honestly, I didn't even decide what I was going to be doing until after I hit record. And it's like, oh yeah, scanner. I'm about the ore, and I'm like, yeah, I probably should do something about that. And I need nether quartz, which, diorite, clay, and bone meal. Actually, let's go ahead and, oh yeah, there's a task for those two. That, let's go ahead and grab two more iron. My hoe's almost broken anyway, so let's go ahead and make up iron one and get that quest done. Oh, not that. This. There we go. Hey, quest complete. Iron home, bone meal. I haven't named the, all the quests yet, but probably wouldn't be a bad idea. And let's go ahead and do that. Grab a couple diorite and a ball of clay. So, nether quartz, go. And the nice thing is you can uncraft it from blocks of quartz, so. I should just be able to... I'm not missing a piece of redstone. It's actually not something I have a whole lot of yet. Hey, quest complete, scanner. Let's go ahead and pop that into here. I'll start charging. I bumped up the max energy it can hold to 500,000. 
and realistically you're probably going to charge it once and then never again so or fully charge it once i should say and let's see the blank scanner modules is going to be 12 clay gold nugget And there's that now. Get three of those. Now mob drops. I have no ender pearls. But good news is I got an ender sword. Uh, I found those veins actually in a mine shaft, like three thousand blocks away. And uh, well, I found the iron one while I was over there looking for acacia. I'm like, oh, I'll do a little bit of quick caving here too. So I hopped underground, see what was there, ran right into a mine shaft. And from the mine shaft found iron, waypointed it, and then made my way back to get some iron, and I found the copper and the gold. I was like, okay, we're good. But yeah, I had this thing just stuffed full of resources, so it worked out pretty good for me. And let's go ahead, I guess, for rare ores for now. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do the rare ore one. You plus that, that, and I need ender pearls, which... I can craft them if I had emeralds. I don't have emeralds yet. The nearest village I found to me is actually a good distance away, so... Get some of that in there. Check on this. Yeah, and by the way, power cubes charge things extremely slowly. Go ahead and scan that. Can I put those guys? I can't even put those in there for now. And I'm not sure what all shows up as rare ores, but there's some like right, right here. Uh, yeah, like right here. Oh, dilithium. Okay. Huh, easy enough. Good. That that. And we'll just fill this back in, because honestly, it's the lithium. I've got quite a bit of it. But with the Ender Sword, I have a good chance of getting Ender Pearls if I can find Enderman or two. Yeah, I'm up here now, zombie. Uh, let's see. That's a wither skeleton. Yeah, let's see. That's that's a lot of wither skeletons. That is a lot of them. It's supposed to be um the other way around. It well, just RNG is the first time really so. But it's supposed to be one out of every uh, five or six skeletons, roughly. Will be a wither skeleton. And that was three withers and a regular. Oh, hi, zombie. There's more wither skeletons up there, not Enderman. Well, that's a shame now, isn't it? being shot at. I have missed being able to teleport like that, though. Oh, look at that. I got fish in here. But no Enderman. Huh. Alright. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut here. I'm going to 
do some mob hunting and see if I can see if I can't get myself an interpol of some flavor. And we're back and unfortunately, no luck. I actually and my sword ran out of power, so. But oh yeah, quest complete. There's a quest for getting 16 steel. Which uh, let's see. I keep hitting the uh the oh good lord. Oh, it's because this one's got so many rewards attached to it, but it's this one here. 16x steel ingot will get us industrial renewal manual. It says on the book, making everything easier, industrial renewal for dummies. And let's see, steam locomotive, a work in progress. There's no recipe for that thing yet, and I tried it, and currently it, just, it, it doesn't move. So, and thud, sorry about that, bump my uh, mic stand. Cargo container, used to transport items on the rails, can interact with hoppers, item transfer, or another blocks used in carts. So, like, hopper cart stuff. And then the fluid container, still work in progress, carries fluids, can hold up to 32 buckets. And then rails, vanilla ones, but in 3D. Buffer stop will prevent the carts from passing, crossing rails, carts well, make a horn sound when it passes. And transfer rail, uh, place on top of or under cargo item transfer, and it'll stop the carts depending on transfer settings. Which, right now, there's a bug. It'll stop the cars just fine. It won't ever let them go, though. Uh, let's see. Redstone. There's a fuse box, which controls the amount of redstone power using redstone cartridges. Which could come in handy if I want a specific redstone signal to come out of it. Because, like, uh, Immersive Engineering's redstone connectors and whatnot transmit a full-strength signal of 15. I think that's all they do, too. Or, like, repeaters, they output it at 15 and so on and so forth, right? This will let me dial it down or whatnot. And it has some advanced comparator functions to it. Flame detector. There's a fire in front of it. It's a redstone signal. Entity detector. If the entity is in range. Range of the entity type can be changed in the GUI. So, kind of cool. Uh, catwalks. There's nothing there yet. Fences. Nothing there yet. But it has electric fences, which don't hurt players, but will not get back. But it can. I think it's set up. There's like three config options for it. I think the one I went with was the one that hurts hostile mobs, but... Leaves passives and players alone. Utility, fire extinguisher, gutter, first aid box. Gutters, put them on the edge of a roof. And uh, increases water generation by the amount of roof tiles. First aid box, holds the kits. Uh, let's see, when right click, uh, gives a regeneration 2 buff, lasts 7 seconds. Oh, not bad. And extraction, yeah, there's nothing there. So, it's a very uh, heavily in progress, work in progress mod. But, you know... 4700 power, that's, that's, that's bad. Oh, let's see, I got that taken care of. Uh, let's see, got 10 rewards here. And yeah, let's go ahead and... all of those, and I'm just going to shove the gardens into here. And the sugar cane, which that was mainly there, like I've mentioned, in case you can't find sugar cane in your world for whatever reason, because sometimes it happens. Then, uh, there you go. If you spawn in the middle of an ice biome, sugar cane's gonna be a little fun to get hold of. And then helpful items. Uh, the scanner gets me the cactus, which we just set up. The storage bag gets you an empty sack of holding, which... Uh, let's see, it should work with that. There we go. And it just picks it up and places it, you know, place it back down in the world. Very handy, though. You can pick up an entire chest and move it around that way without having to empty it out and yada yada yada, so on and so forth, right? Um, should have I got 22 bone meal here should probably go ahead and get something to eat here and then the last quest was for the slime balls it'll get me a slime block that was four which I should be able to do that and uncraft them so it's just free slime I mean you're, you're obviously doing that recipe to to get slime balls so it's like you're, here's leg up on it but refined storage requires a lot of slime balls Let's go over and check our farm out now. Let's see. Wheat's fine for now. Eh, potatoes grew. Cool. Uh, let's see. Put this in half. We're going to grab some of those and then peanuts. 16 peanuts. I've got 22 blackberries. 
should be able to get some decent food going finally. And let's go ahead and harvest this again. And I made my little my little pond here next to my house bigger. I well there's like three small ones and I can't get them all together, so. Looks a little better. I'm hoping to get some like name tagged fish or something in there. You are still cooking here, you can have that. And I'm making some bricks up, which will definitely come in handy here in a second, because I need to start working on the Pam stuff. And sticks. You know what? I'm gonna do that skillet saucepan. And I need a plank. Oh, that'll work. I think it is like that. No. Like that. Cutting board. I need three more planks now. Which I don't have. So. Through one, two, three. Mixing bowl. One, two, three. Mortar and pestle. Two, three, four, five. Do what? Six. Seven. I am missing something, though. What am I missing? Because I had this squeezer is set, or the juicer is seven. There's a total of eight. Oh, there it is. I made the skillet. Okay. Cool. So those things are all taken care of now. Uh, let's make... Do I have any pistons? Uh, no, I don't, but I can, I can make some real quick. Eight of those. We'll get eight iron. Two redstone. That and boom. Pistons. One, two. Put our squeezer down, and we're just going to put that in there. It's not particularly speedy, but good news, it doesn't require power. Get our juicer out. Is it two? Oh, no, I need cooking oil, too. Uh... So it, that is two seeds plus a juicer. Alright, what am I missing? Oh, because it's the uh, wrong tool. The uh, mortar and pestle. You, that, that, peanut butter. And now I need jelly. Uh, let's have a look at this one. One, one, and a saucepan. I wasn't sure if I had to juice it first or not. Eh, close enough for now. Put that into there. Go ahead and grab our what bread we do have and the cutting board. And boom. Blackberry jelly sandwiches. Three haunches and a lot of saturation per go. Better food. And let's go ahead and just grab like that and have it process up too. While we're sitting here waiting. I'm just going to eat another one to fill me up all the way and, and let me heal. And let's see. Now, bread, on the other hand, oh, I have to look in here, don't I? Is dough plus bakeware. Dough is water, salt, flour. And salt is just water in a pot. There's other ways of getting it, too, which I'll probably look into eventually, because you do need salt for quite a few of the recipes. I want to actually get, if I can, at least a safety belt and maybe the, the helmet, too. They're actually really good armor. So, um, that was what? Four string, 
leather, and slime ball, right? So it's so make a lead, and then it's like lead in the middle, I think, isn't it? Yep, safety belt. Boom. When you craft it, it comes with Feather Falling 4 built into it. And that one is the safety helmet, is a leather cap, a small slab, and yellow dye. I do have a dandelion. I don't have enough leather, though. Let's put that away for now. We'll put this in our, our junk box. Uh, I guess I could... I could um, change tack a little bit here. Do three of you... Get like six... One more. Six of you. Make some slabs. Make some balloons. Go into here. I have 34 terracotta. Okay, cool. I've been trying to remember to grab it whenever I walk by it in the world. LV wire relays. And LV wire connectors. Now I just need some LV wire. Go ahead and make eight of these up for now. Chop it up. Tools back. And we're just going to go. You go like so. Actually, terracotta might as well live over here too, because. Once I really start getting into wiring, I'm going to need a lot of terracotta. But we have X Nilo in this pack, and that's one of the reasons I put X Nilo in was the uh, I need blocks of uh, the, the clay creation. Good. Is that the way as well? Now, somehow I had a sheep get back up here. Is it possible? Oh yeah, it is right here. I haven't come up with the rest of the granite bricks yet. Connector. Go ahead and grab our wire. Wow, it cannot go very far at all, can it? I uh, should be able to do like this, though. I think if I shift, right click. No, you're not doing it, are you? Is it because it's at the block I'm on? It might be. It, usually, if you shift, right click, it'll place the balloon above your head. So. Oh, no, just regular right click. Never mind. All right. Relay. Link that up. And do that again. And do the same again. And a cool thing is these things also put off light. On top of my house, dude. That is not cool. Relay. Wire it up. And can I... They connector it here? I can't looks like I can. Sweet. I'm gonna do connector here. I'm gonna hook our wire up to it. And now if I connect her here. Oh not there. 
grab my hammer, and then right click this, changes this so it actually will push power through here. All in all, not terrible. Actually, I need to have, like, say, those on my bar still. What I'm going to do is you're going to be here for now. And then we're going to get rid of this. And crank and that thing go away. And first things first, I guess. Since that's the only way I have charging things up. Cool. And it's it's making power. And it's actually inputting power faster than the uh nick and charge. <clears throat> but that will work. Now let's uh, I get started on our manufacturing. So it's a copper solenoid in the middle. It's going to be a piston. Let's get those things out of the way first. That, and I need four cobblestone. And then a copper solenoid is copper top and bottom. Iron in the middle. And then I need... Not that, two flint, four lead, and a redstone. All right, and two flint, All right? Usage to there, done. That's gonna go here. And now I need to make another uh, series of connectors. And I got the advancement, industrializing. Put you here. You're going to slowly start filling up a power. Because, I mean, honestly, I'm just powering everything off of one moon mill right now. And it's actually having to split its power between these two. So, it's not a lot of power. It's actually it's an amount, though. How much is in here now? Uh, 11,000. Let's, uh... Oh, there's some... There's, there's one over there. Two of them over there. Come here. All right, get in the water. Out. Let's get in the water. Thank you. I think my sword ran out of power. Hey, buddy. Oh, where? So I'm doing less damage, and it's actually during straight durability to my sword, but I got four interpols out of that, so. That was worth a little bit of damage to my sword. All right, so we're gonna put you plus you together. Range upgrades for my scanner, where the heck I left it at. Let's put that into here. So scanner. Why did I just... One, two range upgrades. Now let's put some of that away. And hey, I can make my first Wither Skeleton Skull. Alright, and here, you can get started on this. And it's draining power. Yeah, it's using more power than coming in right now. Dude. Thank you. Oh, there's the other one. Thank you. There. 
Anything else? No. Good. I just want peace and quiet when I'm crafting. Is that too much to ask? And maybe, you know, one more piece of leather. Alright, so it was like so. Now I need three iron. And a piece of steel. That's boron. Uh, steel. I want to make the... Actually... I'm also going to need a stone slab. You. I need to make this, which is going to be a steel saw. And it's that plus those. Gives me four of those. And I just need to dye it yellow. And this thing comes with protection four. That's the other reason I wanted that. Eh, it kind of works. Uh, let's see. Have some sandwich. Check out that quest. And this one is, hey, steel scaffolding. I, it, I thought it was fitting for, just made some safety equipment so here I have some scaffolding to play around with as well. And... Coal can go away as well. And I'll put the balloon in here. And the hammer can go. So, let's try this thing out now with range upgrades. Oh yeah, look at that. And that is a mega, mega vein right there. So let's get... Like 16 of those. We'll grab... 16 charcoal. Make myself a stack of torches. And I'll just keep that on me for now. Let's go check this out. Yeah, there it is. And it, the blocks actually are kind of sort of color coded, so. Yeah, I forgot the cave. I kind of looped around a bit more. And more. Wow. I didn't realize it looped around that much. We're actually not terribly far away from right here. And it's a little hard to see with all that stuff on the screen. There we go. This is kind of one of those, like, bear with me things. I can't see anything either, so. Sorry about that, but... Here we go again. Yeah, let's actually start going straight here, I guess. Is it iron? No, okay. Did I find one of the nuclear craft ones? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, that's... that's... And let's go ahead and have that off. Yep, that's, that's a nuclear craft one. I actually made a custom nuclear craft vein just for this mod pack. Our drawer deposits didn't, by default, support nuclear craft. It did, though, uh, support or some engineering, so that's a plus. But I just found the... Wow. So, the two cave systems actually merged together. That's kind of cool. So you, you need a stack of coal, don't you? Okay, 
Okay, you're full. You're full. Here, have that. Put those away and in there. All right. And I guess let's have another blackberry jelly sandwich. So one thing I should probably work on though, real quick, is progress a little bit further into calculator. Because if I do this right, I can do that. Here we go. Enriched gold. And uh, I can get unbreakable weapons doing this. So I'm going to need the actual ingot form, right? Yep, because I want the scientific calculator next, which is reinforced stone, enriched gold, which is just gold and redstone, and calculator screen, and then those. Okay. So give me that. You can have that. Here, let's... Uh... Let's just, I guess, put the bricks in here for now. Uh, let's grab a redstone. Grab eight cobblestone. Let's keep those on me so next time I'm outside I can remember what I need to do. So, calculator screen. Go. I need two of these and I need two reinforced stone. You should be done. Awesome. Scientific calculator. You are up to 70,000. 7,000. 70,000 would be great. Uh, 7,000 for right now, though. How much wires do I have? I got one. Okay. Get that. We'll get some iron. So I think it's three iron I need. I'm going to need an MV connector. I guess so. I'm going to need these guys back. You can turn to those. Give me an iron. You're, you're full. Okay, cool. You can head the sword back now. And let's see. I want to make a charging station. From immersive engineering here. And that's just three glass, two treated wood, and two more iron. One, two. One, two, three. Also, we have quite clear glass from Ender IO. I actually. Kind of funny. These things, they show up in JEI, all that fun stuff. They, or not in JI, but they show up in recipes and whatnot, and uses and all that. However, they never show. They don't show up over here. I, there's a setting somewhere I'm pretty certain I have to change. I just haven't found it yet. But for some reason, Endrio has them hidden by default, which is just slightly annoying. Uh. Are you going to screw things up if I put you here? Yep, you are. Okay. Then get me... Uh, get me a brick block, I guess. You here. Like so. That can go away, and I need one of you. And one of you. Okay, and you're neither bottom or backside, aren't you? Yeah, this thing's only slightly annoying to, to place right now. Let's see, how am I going to do that? Well, actually, I can get rid of this. And I can place that like so, All right? this will take the place of that power cube. And say if I want my sword back. I click it in there. And well it's, it's sparkling so it's working but this thing has like no there's no capacitor or anything so this thing's building up. It's just yeah. So it's gonna take a while. But now instead of being limited by the power cube it's limited by the windmill. Not much I can do about it but is what it is. 
So let's get those put away and put those back. Now, scientific calculators. Needs to make purify coal, redstone ingots, which are kind of nice. A few things I can make. Tools, for one. Make a hunger module so I never have to eat again, which is a little cheaty, but kind of nice. Uh, advanced power cubes. Uh, hunger processor, which is how you fill the module up. Calculator plugs, which are slightly a bit broken if you know what you're doing. And then restoration chamber for making circuits with, block, and then energy cables from industrial renewal. I actually added this recipe in because they don't have one. Industrial renewal has its own steam boiler and turbine, but the only block and I found in a test world that'll pull it out is those cables. So a little bit weird, but you know, it's you do what you can with what you got. So we can make weakened diamonds also, which uh, let's see. Weakened diamond tools are pretty decent. Uh, let's see. 1400 durability. You can use those to make an advanced greenhouse, which is actually a really awesome thing as well. But what I'm wanting to get into. Uh, amethyst trees would be nice. Why did I want to make this? I can't remember why now. I have completely. Oh, hey, starch extractor. I can burn potatoes for power. Well, potatoes and coal. It was a redstone you can get or something, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, atomic calculators and stuff. Redstone extractor. Decent energy, actually. But the advanced terrain module is one of those wonderful things. And uh, it, it's basically a block swapper, but you don't get the block you swap back. But you don't actually need the block you're putting down in your inventory either. It's so, kind of a, a different block swapper, but, you know, it works. But it's got like dirt and grass, smooth stone, gravel, sand, so on and so forth, right? So natural blocks. Is there anything else? Oh yes, and there's a quest to actually make a bunch of nether materials. Uh, the mud in my resource pack is actually soul sand, so to avoid confusion. But let's go ahead. I need four gunpowder and I need a blaze rod for this quest. That and hey, quest complete. And that will get me corned beef breakfast. You know, it's good food. It's really good food. 13 haunches of hunger, 32 saturation. It's real good food. And it buffs players. But it's uh, corned beef hash, eggs some flavor, milk, soy milk, or some whatnot, ketchup, and toast. And the corned beef hash is corned beef, onion, egg, potato, bell pepper, butter, and cheese. And corned beef is beef, salt, mustard, cinnamon, sugar, peppercorn, raw peppercorn, not processed black pepper, spice leaf, and ginger. A lot of things I never thought about going into corned beef. Uh, it's getting more green on the lights here. I'm over halfway full, so that's a good start. Yeah, I need something wrong with you. But I'm going to go back to working on my base for a bit here. And next episode. Oops. There, that'll keep that damn sheep off there. And it evens it out so it's centered under my windmill now. Uh, but next episode, we're going to look into a little more power generation and ore doubling. Which means the mechanism crusher. But thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the series, and until next time, sign signing out. Have fun.